Hi, welcome to Live Life Ravishingly. Today we are continuing our journey with Mr. Shuram. Welcome, Shuram. Hello, Ravish. Glad to be here. Thank you. So, Shuram, uh, I have heard that the U.S. market and the U.S. stocks have fallen down, and Nvidia shares have come to 13% lower as usual. So, what exactly has happened? Okay. So, there is this new model which has mm -hmm. come out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the model's name is Deep Seek R1. Deep Seek R1. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's a small company in China. Mm -hmm. It has come out with a model mm -hmm. which is so good mm -hmm. that uh, people are thinking, you know, uh, this can revolutionize the entire AI industry. Okay. So, and yeah. suddenly uh, the stocks in US have fallen. Oh, I see. Okay. So, why is US. Uh uh, so much uh, you know worried about this particular uh, uh, model okay so just to tell you mm -hmm. when we develop any model ai model all right okay, uh, uh, so normal models can be built easily okay. but when we are building a large language model llm uh, okay llms yeah. from scratch mm -hmm. that is you take the data you train it mm -hmm. uh, build a first first you build a large language model then you do fine tuning and all those things okay um, it is a laborious process. I see. Okay. okay. Collecting data itself takes huge amount of time. Okay. Okay. You need to collect a, all the data which is available by humanity all or right. which is created by humanity. All right. You feed that, you mm -hmm. train it, all those okay. things, right? Okay. It is a huge amount of data which is being trained, mm -hmm. which involves a lot of cost. And mm -hmm. the data, not just purchasing the data, you need to fine tune the data. Like, all you right. know, sorry, you have to prepare the data. Right, right. That is once again one more long process. Mm -hmm. And then when you are training the model, mm -hmm. you have uh, something called as reinforcement learning with human feedback. Okay. RLHL. Okay. So you need to have humans to tell whether something which is generated sounds uh, feels correct or not. Okay. okay. All right. All of this involves huge amount of cost. Okay. So approximate cost of building a large language model, which is really good, mm -hmm. is in billions, I billions see. of dollars. Okay. 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 A few billions, one or two billions, and so okay. on. Okay. Okay. Even with um, a very good team with all this experience and the data available, it can run to hundreds of millions of dollars. I see. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now, out of nowhere, mm -hmm. a small Chinese company, a research company, okay. builds an AI model mm -hmm. whose accuracy and the way it performs mm -hmm. is as good as OpenAI's the best model. Oh, okay. 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 OpenAI has a model called mm -hmm. O1, GPT O1. I see. Okay. O1 has advantage that it is not just like you know if you ask a question it's not not just answering mm -hmm. it before answering it thinks oh okay, okay? and uh, it's called chain of thought it thinks mm -hmm. and that information is used to generate a high quality output i see okay, okay. and the quality of output is really good it, you can ask tough problems math mm -hmm. problems or anything mm -hmm. like you know your real life problems mm -hmm. um it gives very good answers I right see. Okay. once owen came i was so surprised and mm -hmm. you know this was it blew my mind all right so what i did mm -hmm. was i subscribed to owen owen pro as well okay okay it costs 200 dollars per month i see it's not okay. cheap okay. so 200 dollars mm -hmm. per month mm -hmm. so what this chinese company did mm -hmm. was they took that model mm -hmm. and gave it for free Oh, open source. Open source. Oh, okay. Not just that, they mm -hmm. gave it in MIT license. Mm -hmm. So, I'll tell you what is MIT license. Okay. All right. There are three licenses, good licenses in the world, mm -hmm. which when someone releases in that license, mm -hmm. you can use it in your commercial product. I see. Okay. okay. You can uh, consider it as your, your own stuff. You can build things around it and you can commercialize it. All right. Okay. So, basically, uh, MIT, mm -hmm. MIT license is one of them, BSD mm -hmm. and Apache. Okay. So now these licenses are highly permissive. You I can see. do whatever you want with that. Okay. They released it in MIT license, which is the most permissive license. I see. Okay. That means today mm -hmm. the best in the class model mm -hmm. can be taken mm -hmm. by anyone. I see. Okay. And they can use it in the way they want and they can use it in the business. Oh, okay. That is one of the reasons ah. why the market is uh, behaving ah this way. Okay. The second reason is mm -hmm. They have published a paper also, okay. and in this paper, they have mentioned mm -hmm. they spent just five million dollars oh. to build the model. Okay, okay. okay. five million dollar for us it may look very big. It's yeah. like you know forty five crore rupees, right? Right. right. But five million dollar for building an AI model is nothing. I see. For large language model building it is nothing. I see. Okay. okay. So uh, now the question is, mm -hmm. how were they able to? 
achieve this ah, okay ah, okay now everyone is either are chinese trying to you know uh, shock us mm -hmm. uh, trying to create confusion mm -hmm. so all sorts of questions are coming up i see okay, okay. Uh, and um, uh, so that is the reason the, because of all of this the uh, you know uh, us various market has, us markets yeah. has fallen the nvidia stocks have fallen because yeah. nvidia's main business mm -hmm. is hardware selling hardware right, for right, ai right okay. right h100 uh, chips and right, so on right. if someone can build at such low cost 5 million high dollars 5 million dollars yeah. instead of billions of dollars if they yeah. build something with 5 right. million dollars right such such a good model then everyone else can do it right right and it's open source so i can go and try it out myself correct correct right? yeah so that is the reason okay now uh, i have a doubt in my mind mm. if china can build mm. this model can india build this model and uh, india is a huge uh, potential and a huge market how will if india builds this model mm. how will it affect us market how will it affect china market itself yeah so china has already built mm -hmm. they have already created this and given the open weights so the weights are given mm -hmm. the procedure is given mm -hmm. and also the model is given right mm -hmm. can uh, india do it yes it can do it okay for sure mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. but there is no point in building it again now i see we okay. have to build something in the future like you know next generation thing okay so let me tell you something mm -hmm. which saddens me i have been in india mm -hmm. uh throughout my career all my friends are in different places different right. countries and so on mm -hmm. i stayed back in india i wanted to uh, make india great right that's really great okay <laughs> so i in two years uh, ago actually three years ago 2022 mm -hmm. um i was i set up a team mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur my job is to see opportunities and create teams okay. um bring smartest people together and yeah. take things forward mm -hmm. i came up uh, came up with a team Mm -hmm. uh, of really smart people mm -hmm. including myself i i am also pretty good at ai and stuff mm -hmm. so we came up with a, a, a model to build text to video okay. today text to video is a common knowledge everyone oh, knows right yeah. but back in 2022 mm -hmm. it was not i see okay text to video okay text to video so mm -hmm. and the architecture for building that as well i like you know came up with that and all those things but i couldn't find the investors oh, in india okay right so what is happening here is one is indians are risk averse they don't know about all of this right mm -hmm. and they feel comfortable with real estate and things right, like that right, right? right investing in real estate right, because they right. they get the money back and so on yeah um uh, the software related things especially these kind of ai cutting edge things mm -hmm. the investment is the main problem correct it's not the knowledge mm -hmm. so if people think oh these things can be done only in the us no mm -hmm. and even then i knew mm -hmm. how to uh, build uh, such a model text mm -hmm. to video model okay at a very low cost mm -hmm. because indians mm -hmm. we are because of uh, our necessity we have constraints mm -hmm. we also are innovative in terms of how to reduce cost and build things okay right so um, we basically i felt like you know india lost an opportunity to oh, get okay. something out there mm -hmm. uh, but that is fine now the things which i am working on are also very interesting and i'm doing pretty well there mm -hmm. so no hard feelings mm -hmm. but um, in the future mm -hmm. ai is going to be a very very powerful thing right you mm -hmm. know you are going to measure a country's potential mm -hmm. by the innovative capability of its people okay so it's not about natural resources anymore right mm -hmm. so can india do such things yes mm -hmm. uh, basically there should be a way mm -hmm. to get funding to the people who can do it okay so that is what is missing that okay. is the reason we were not someone who built uh, deep sea carbon okay and one more thing i want to tell mm. the people who built it mm -hmm. for them it is a side project i see okay <laughs> someone who is disrupting the world today for them I it see. is a side uh. project okay and uh, what kind of side project these were all algo traders uh -huh. i was also algo trader so right, i could relate right. to them right. so they had all this hardware mm -hmm. uh, you know gpus lying around mm. they thought instead of just keeping it let's use it for doing building some models let's see what happens right, and that's right. how they got this okay and now tell me what's going to happen now because of this uh, deep seek r1 what exactly is going to happen in the future things are going to become very crazy okay. the cost of deep seek r1 mm -hmm. um the api cost mm -hmm. is 96% lower than open ai's price okay so open ai cannot have that kind of high price mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. not just that uh, mm -hmm. like you know this is the the top model i'm saying mm -hmm. same deep seek r1 i installed on my laptop okay it can run on your laptop the smaller version of it can be okay. can run on your laptop mm -hmm. um the good laptop basically oh, okay 
and the results are really good okay so what it means is now these ai models can be bought into hardware like mm -hmm. you know um, machines smaller machines mm -hmm. and we can run ai models on that okay so um, um, edge ai becomes possible okay. okay okay as we continue our journey in ai we will definitely discuss about job loss because of ai but now in a small brief summary can you help me understand will this cause a major job loss and deep seek r1 is it a start of that um i i i have always told mm -hmm. the current set of jobs are going to go and okay. new set of jobs are going to come right right, right? Yeah. uh deep seek r1 you can consider it as something which is a pivotal point mm -hmm. which shows that these mm -hmm. models are not far away someone uh, it is impossible for them to build no mm -hmm. it can it is possible they can be built mm -hmm. um like you know if i was in their position i would have also you done the same thing like mm -hmm. in the sense they have used fully synthetic data to create the models i see that means okay. they have not used any real data Got it. they have taken models existing uh, ai models that they have generated the output of that mm -hmm. that data what is generated mm -hmm. has been used for training i see such okay. a smart move right I, right, I, right like right. Okay. if i was in the, their position i would have done exactly that mm -hmm. it this shows that top end ai models can be created at a very low price i see okay. uh, like you know uh, mm -hmm. everyone can do it mm -hmm. uh, and this is going to revolutionize uh, ai industry in a big way okay. not just that the job market is going to change mm -hmm. when such models uh, custom models can be built mm -hmm. every industry is going to change okay medical industry education industry um, like you know food agriculture industry you name it everything. there is no threat but you'll get more different opportunities opportunities in immediately for people who are fixated on a particular job yes mm -hmm. job threat okay. if they are ready to learn new things yeah, then that's the point you need to learn new things that's the point okay all right now coming back to our initial discussion what about the stock market what will happen to the stock market stock market you know is uh, very fickle mm -hmm. uh, it is obviously it has fallen mm -hmm. but it is going to consolidate after some time because okay. there will be a price correction because mm -hmm. there was too much ah, price rise right there will be a price correction and then mm -hmm. it will be normal right it mm -hmm. goes up and comes down it's a normal cycle in stock market so just to conclude just give us what's what's in it for us as software engineers or us as job seekers in ai what's in it for us in deep seek r1 first thing i would say is if you have any decent machine laptop or uh, good uh, hardware mm -hmm. go install uh, deep seek r1 mm -hmm. try it out mm -hmm. uh, if you don't want to do that install on your laptop mm -hmm. or a computer you can actually go and start using it okay, okay it's All available right. for free mm -hmm. uh, and it performs very well so you can if you have any questions you want to clear your questions you can go and ask it it gives you good answers all right all right so um for um software engineers per se mm -hmm. all the software engineers need to learn how to use ai mm -hmm. to assist them in mm -hmm. in their coding in um, you know making the software better mm -hmm. also have ai in their product mm -hmm. so that it will help the customers all right in all right. using their product so we'll continue our discussion with the shuram now for now thanks shuram for joining us thank you ravish thank you thank you Thank you.